Hey there, Robert here with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be taking a look at turning negatives into positives. So back in the day when film had to be developed, not only did you get the positives, but they also threw in the negatives just in case you needed to develop them again in the future. Let's say your photo got lost or damaged, but you still have the negatives. We can develop those negatives without needing to go to the store or buying any special equipment. Now remember, we're talking about negatives, not the actual film itself. The film would have to be developed at a store first, and then you'll probably get the negatives. All you really need is some type of light source and your camera. A tripod might help as well, but it's optional. The light source could be a window. Just tape the negative right to it or hold it. You can also use a clamp light with a white cloth or paper towel over it to diffuse the light, or a soft box, which I'm using here. Simply set your camera up, ready to take the picture, zoom up to the part of the negative you want to use, and take the photo. I handheld the negative about a foot away from the light source just so the light could pass through it better. Also try to make it straight, not curved. You could use something to flatten it like two pieces of glass or maybe plastic from an old CD case, then take a picture with it that way so that it keeps the film strip flat. You could also attach it directly to the light source and do it that way instead of holding it. Once done, import the photos on your computer and load them into Photoshop. So here I have the photo I just took. I'm going to click and drag it into Photoshop. You could always go to File, Open, and open it up there. And we're going to crop the image we want to use. So from here to here, we're going to crop this out. Go to the Crop tool. Not the Crap tool, the Crop tool. So we're going to simply draw out this crop area just like that and if you need to you can also adjust the perspective by coming up here and checking perspective on or off so I don't really need to do that you could if it's like a little curved or uh, you know it wasn't perfectly straight with the camera you could use the perspective so I'm gonna keep it like that I'm just gonna double click or hit enter and here we have the image cropped out so now what we need to do is duplicate this background layer you can hit control J or drag it down to the new layer icon there we have the duplicated copy. We need to invert this so we can hit control or command I or we can go to image adjustments invert. So there we have the image and as you can tell it's a little blue so we're gonna go and grab an adjustment layer with levels and we're gonna adjust the levels a little bit here. So I'm gonna go and start off in the red channel and we're gonna move this around see what we can get out of it. Let's go into the green channel. And let's try the blue channel. Something like that. Let's go back in the RGB. Maybe bring this up a little. Actually Let's bring this up just to kind of brighten it up and there we have the image now with some more time you can fine-tune the color adjustments maybe use the curves uh, levels color balance any one of those tools to fix up the color but other than that we went from this to this and finally to this so there you go. No need to go out and buy a special scanner, you know, to scan your negatives because, you know, you're not going to be sitting there and scanning every single negative you have. I mean, you may if you want, but you may just have a photo that you've lost or you or you want to see what it is. You can bring that into Photoshop pretty easily without spending all the money for a negative scanner because they do have those. A regular scanner won't work for this. The image will come out way too dark. I believe I do have an image scanned yeah here it is this is what the scanner will do to you uh, you know you gotta have that light passing through the negative because this is not going to help you much you can tell the difference between the two images there's that image scanned on a regular scanner and then here's our image with the light passing through you see the color values will come through a lot better than the scanner this is more like uh, black and brown so don't use a regular scanner. Try to find a light source and do it that way. So there you go. It's pretty simple to do. And the next time you have negatives or a negative you'd like to develop, 
and print out, you know how to do it. Just put it on a file, take it to a store, CVS, Walmart, develop it. Or if you have a photo printer, just print it right out and you'll have the image again. Hopefully this helped. Remember, you can always subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. You can also follow me on Twitter at Rob's Productions and Facebook.com slash Robert's Productions. All the links will be right there in the description below. So there you go. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.